Hi, welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender, and today I'm gonna to show you my preferred classic Negroni recipe. So of course it's Negroni week, and therefore I've got quite a few Negroni videos coming up. I've also done a ton of Negroni variations in the past, so I'll link to that playlist right here so you can check it out. Uh, there's plenty of like frozen Negronis, Negroni sours, um, tequila Negronis, and a whole bunch of variations. So yeah, definitely worthwhile checking it out. But you have to make sure you stay tuned and hit subscribe if you aren't already, because over the next couple of days, I'm bringing out some really cool recipes and not just common variations, stuff that you may not have heard of before. So stay tuned. Seeing as it's Negroni week, I do have some Negroni pins as well from Tipsy Tootie. Uh, I'm gonna give three of these away, so make sure you stick around and I'll let you know the details on, on how you can enter. And I'll give you a little close up of these little pins. They're really cool. There's a few other different designs as well by the Tipsy Tootie team. Uh, there's an old fashioned, and I think there's a daiquiri now, and possibly another design, but there you go. So for my Negronis, I really like using local gins, and previously I have used Punta Mess in place of my sweet vermouth, so it's more of a bitter style Negroni, but today I just picked up another bottle of Antica formula. Uh... I haven't had one of these in the fridge for quite a while, so that's why I'm so keen to make this uh, my version of the Negroni. Not sorry, not my version, but my preferred version. So this particular vermouth is a sweeter in style and it's got some vanilla notes to it. So really delicious. And I thought what better way to pair it up with ounce gin, which is a South Australian gin, uh, which has notes of orange, cardamom and vanilla. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So for this recipe, I'm gonna measure out 45 mil, 1.5 ounces. So I'm going a little bit heavier rather than the equal parts, going a little bit heavier on the gin. So it's gonna be more of a gin for Negroni. Followed by 30 mil, one ounce of your Antica formula. So these two are gonna work really well. The vanilla notes of the gin working with the vanilla notes of the vermouth. And then of course the bitterness of the Campari, 30 mil, one ounce. Then add old, then add old fashioned to your ice. <laughs> then add ice to your old fashioned glass and give it a stir. I really do like working with a large spoon as well. This is a 45 centimeters as opposed to a 30 centimeter spoon. At first it does look kind of ridiculous, but once you start using it, it does feel really comfortable. I'm gonna add a little bit more ice. I don't like to stir my Negronis for too long. I do like the, the intense bitterness that it gives. And also as I drink on it, it's gonna evolve. It's gonna add some dilution. And then for garnish, a nice big peel of orange. And there you have my preferred Negroni recipe. So I'll leave a link in the description below so you can enter this competition to win one of the three pins and I'll send that out later this week at the end of Negroni week. And make sure you stay tuned, like and subscribe because I've got a chocolate Negroni as well as several others. Oh, and also with the chocolate Negroni, it has a brown creme de cacao in it. And I'm gonna show you how to make DIY brown creme de cacao at home really easy. Thanks for watching, cheers.